Hello guys, it's Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco oh! and today I'm recording outside because of course it is a very nice day and it is probable or most likely that you're gonna hear some kids doing their stuff because I live next to a school, uh, some cars passing by and so on but well, it is kind of a trade-off for seeing the, well, the outside touching some grass. As for today's video, we have the review of the new Adrenaline drivers, this time the 25.4.1 optional drivers. And the past two drivers, the 25.3.1, I mean the 25.3.2 and now the 25.4.1 are optional drivers and not WHQL certified, so it means that they don't really have Microsoft's certification, but they do have the internal certification and so on. Basically, they're not beta drivers, but they're also not kind of main drivers, I would say. But well, as I say in all my videos, 25 is the year, 2025, 4 is the month, April, and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of April. And let me just tell you that if you're a fan of The Elder Scrolls Oblivion, then you want these drivers. And you don't really want these drivers because of the performance per se, but you want these drivers because of FSR support. So this means that these new drivers already support Elder Scrolls Oblivion Remake and already have FSR 4 supported via Adrenaline, which is actually great if you ask me. You see the chickens? They're here. Oh, <laughs> look at them. They do make a lot of noise though. So yeah, so let's move forward to the sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only 15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. But well, let's start with the release notes. Firstly, we start with highlights with new game support for The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion Remastered. Great game, by the way. Expanded game support for AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4, FSR 4 for The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion Remastered, Assassin's Creed Shadows, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, Dynasty Warriors Origin, Civilization 7, and Naraka Blade Point. So this means that we now have FSR 4 support officially on the Adrenaline settings for 6 new games. And one of them is of course Oblivion that just released yesterday. And then we have some of the games that people already asked by the way like Assassin's Creed Shadows. And Kingdom Come Deliverance was already with FSR 4 in the beta drivers of the, of the 9070XT. So the drivers that AMD gave us, the reviewers, in order to test the 9070XT before the 25.3.1, those drivers already supported FSR 4 for Kingdom Come Deliverance, but it seems that only on these ones, the official ones, 25.4.1, that uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is actually supported. So it is what it is, I guess. As for the fixed issues and improvements, we have the first one being failure to apply effects models may be observed while using Adjust Lighting V1 and Adjust Lighting V2 features in Topaz Photo AI with Radeon RX 9000 series graphics products, so fixed or improved. The second one is flashing or flickering may appear while using AMD FreeSync technology. Me personally, I didn't have any issues in four or five monitors, in four or five monitors, sorry, everything worked perfectly, so Again, I don't really have these issues. Lower than expected performance may be observed while running DirectML slash Gen AI models in Amuse 3.0 with Radeon RX 7000 series graphics products and Ryzen AITM 300 series products. I mean, the nomenclatures or the naming schemes are just getting dumber and dumber by the day. Yeah, TM should be in, in really, really small letters, I guess. Anyway, and now that, that there's the chicken. The idiot chicken like doing their, their stuff like. <laughs> Another fixed issue is image corruption may be observed while running certain diffuser models in Amuse 3.0 with Raiden RX 9000 series graphics products. And by the way, I will be testing very, very soon, maybe tomorrow, releasing the video tomorrow, testing Amuse 3.0 with the new AMD models, for example, for Stable Diffusion 1.5 and Stable Diffusion 3.0, and believe me, the performance difference is just insane. We're talking about, for example, going from like 16 seconds to 4 point something seconds. It, it is a huge, 
huge improvement, but we'll get there tomorrow. Now we have lower than expected performance may be observed while playing World of Warcraft Western Plaguelands with Raiden RX 9000 series graphics products, meaning that people playing World of Warcraft and people that were having certain issues in a certain part of the map, uh, well, it is supposed to be fixed or at least improved. So if you play World of Warcraft and you have an RX 9070 series, just leave in the comment section letting us know if it is fixed or not, because I and I believe that the community also want to know. Failure to detect integrated camera may be observed after installing or after driver installation using factory reset option on some Ryzen AI Max and Max Plus series products. And the last one is added support for Amuse 3 and AMD optimized models. Which again is one of the things that I told you I will be testing tomorrow because it is very good. And now the children are like clapping and... We also have imported notes with FSR4 is not currently supported by Naraka Bladepoint for some users under Windows 10. So, uh, but I mean, by the way, by this point in time, if you are still using Windows 10, it, it is kind of your fault. And yeah, just use Windows 11. And if you don't want that bloatware, just use Tiny 11 or Nano 11. And by the way, I'm doing a comparison very soon in between those two systems, the normal Windows 11 and the Nano 11, just letting you know. But well, since not everything is cotton candy and rainbows and unicorns, we also have the known issues. And by the way, there's a lot of known issues. Uh, but at least there's a good thing on the bad side. I mean, or it's a, there's a good side for the bad things. In this case is that if they are on the known issues, it means that AMD is acknowledging them. And if AMD knows that these issues exist, they will fix them ASAP. Again, there's always a bright side of the negative point, I should say. The first known issue is intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing The Last of Us Part 2. I didn't really play much of the game, but I had no crash for sure. The second one is system crash may be observed due to a memory leak when using SteamVR on some AMD Radeon graphics products such as the Radeon RX 9000 series. Another issue on the newer GPUs, but again, I don't really use SteamVR so I don't really know and the kids are really annoying me. Installation progress may persistently display 0% while installing AMD chat within the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition user, user interface after upgrading to the AMD Radeon RX 9000 series graphics products. Stutter may be observed while playing games with some VR headsets at 80Hz and 90Hz refresh rate on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 7000 series. Users experiencing this issue are recommended to change the refresh rate as a temporary workaround. This is an issue that has been happening for like two or three driver versions, which is a bummer, but I guess, well, if you have 80 or 90 Hertz, just change to any other Hertz, I guess. Basically, if you don't really have an arm, use the other one. That's what they're telling you. Intermittent system or application crash may be observed while playing Cyberpunk 2077. Intermittent system or application crash may be observed during shader compilation while playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth during shader compilation. So basically, if you're playing the game while compiling the shaders, you might have crashes. So make sure to compile the shaders before going into the game. Failure to launch may be observed for Battlefield 1 on the Radeon RX 9000 series graphics products with Ryzen 9 9550X integrated graphics. So a very specific issue when you are using both the 9950X integrated graphics, um, an RDNA 2 with two computer units, I believe, and RX 9000 series. Intermittent failure to launch may be observed when AMD Software Adrenaline Edition user interface is launched from desktop context menu or system tray. Another bug that is known, intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Monster Hunter Wilds with Raiden anti-lag and instant replay enabled. So if you are using both, make sure to disable one of them or Raiden anti-lag or um, this one, Instant Replay, the one that I never use, so I don't really have those issues, I guess. Yeah. Intermittent system or application crash may be observed while playing Marvel Spider-Man 2 with Raiden Anti-Lag 2 enabled on the Raiden RX 7000 series graphics products. And this is actually true because I've, I played most of the game, and another car, I played most of the game and the chickens just, I, Jesus, everybody's against me today. They don't want me to record this video for you guys. By the way, I played the game mostly with the 9070 XT and the 9070, and I had absolutely no issues with Anti-Lag 2. 
but as soon as I used the 7900 XT, I believe I did have some crashes and some black screens while using Antilag 2. It was kind of occasional, not like from time to time, but they did happen and it is in fact here AMD did acknowledge the issue. And the last known issue is artifacts or corruption may appear while playing Battlefield on Raiden RX 7000 series graphics products. But what Battlefield? Battlefield 1, Battlefield 2042, I don't really know. Uh, I don't know, dude! <laughs> and yeah, that's basically all for today's drivers. Basically, we just have fixed issues and improvements. We have the imported notes, we have more FSR 4 games and support for The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. And of course, we have lots of known issues that I suppose AMD will fix in the 24.5.1 driver since it is already in the end of April. I believe there's not going to be any more drivers for April, maybe just for May. And by the way, according to what AMD told me, uh, it seems that something is coming soon. I don't really know what that something is, but something is coming. So maybe something interesting is indeed coming. As for my experience with these drivers, I mean, in terms of FPS, numbers for even for for example for kingdom come deliverance that still has issues uh even for let's say let's say oblivion yeah the fps are basically the same as the 25.3.1 drivers but yeah at least we have fsr4 support so if you have a 9070 or 9070 xt card you can now use fsr4 directly into oblivion remastered uh into assassin's creed shadows kingdom come deliverance dynasty warriors origin civilization 7 Naraka Blade Point, and it, you just need to go to the MD software, click and enable FSR4, and you're good to go. That's that's all you need to do. So that's that's great. It means that at least AMD is adding more and more supportive games to the drivers, which is one of the things that they needed and they still need to do ASAP because there are lots of games with FSR 3.1 that still do not support FSR 4 officially. Silent Hill 2 has FSR 3.1, still doesn't support FSR 4 officially. And there are more games, more games that people really want to play and they still don't support FSR 4. So AMD needs to be working on this, but at least Six more games, if we have six games, every driver, uh, I'll be a happy man. And well, guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know let me know what you think about um, these drivers, if they work well for you. If you have an RX 7000, 9000, or even 6000 series, let me know if these drivers work well for you. And by the way, watch the video that I just released yesterday uh, comparing several cards like the RX 9070, 7900 XT, 7900 GRE, 6950 XT, and 6800. Lay an eye on that video. There is some very, very interesting data there. Thank you very much again, guys, and see you in the next one. Cheers. I've heard others say the same. There were lights like this under the watch. That place was cursed by the mayor of Stagon himself. Best not to go there. How are you? So I've heard. I've Have you heard any word? Heard any news the from the other provinces? provinces?